What's up you beautiful people, how's everybody doing? My name is Dinesh, welcome to Freaking Ape Live. We are watching today another video from Norm McDonald because you guys seem to like this, these videos and, and before I didn't know that Norm was uh, a comedian. I just knew him from Mike Tyson Mysteries. And now I love his videos and I wish I knew him uh, before he passed away. But there's a lot of him on the internet and he still lives on on the internet and in our hearts. So one of you guys recommended me this video. It's called 25 Best Weekend Update Jokes of All Time by Norm MacDonald. So let's give it a watch. If you aren't subscribed to my channel guys, please do hit subscribe. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers this month. And if you want to watch a full length reaction video of the movies and TV shows reaction that I do, you can head down to my Patreon. It's a wonderful way to support the channel. Get early access to all of my videos over there. Even videos like these. You can watch it way, way early than YouTube. Also, if you're enjoying my videos, give this video a big thumbs up. Now, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. We're going to start this in 3, 2, 1, go. The post office announcement today that it is going to issue a stamp com... com... oh shit. <laughs> com... oh shit. Oh, comer more thing. Comer more thing. You know what? Forget it. Prostitution in the United States. It's a 10 cent stamp, but if you want to lick it, it's a quarter. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hollywood prostitute Divine Brown has written a book describing in lurid detail exactly what she did with Hugh Grant. The book mm. sells for $25, but for $35, she'll show you. At the White House this week, President Clinton officially came out against same-sex marriages. What's okay. more, the President said he is not too crazy about opposite-sex marriages either. <laughs> <laughs> A new FBI study shows that for the first time, Americans are more likely to be killed by a stranger than a loved one or acquaintance. Their advice? Introduce yourself to as many people as possible. <laughs> okay. The American Academy of Pediatrics has released Accidents. an updated list of unsafe it. baby products. Topping the list this year is the really, 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 really high chair. Oh, all right. <laughs> of course. Well, Dr. Jack Kevorkian was responsible for another death this week, this time a 58-year-old woman. She is the 26th of Kevorkian's patients to die since 1990. When are people going to realize he is not a good doctor? <laughs> Do not go to this man. The richest girl in the world, billionaire Athena Onassis, celebrated her 10th birthday this week. What's it like to be the richest girl in the world? Well, to give you some idea, at the party, they had two cakes. <laughs> I had two cakes. <laughs> okay. A new hangover-free vodka is on the market. All right. Yeah, the ads claim that the 80-proof vodka is so pure, it's virtually headache-free. But before you run out and buy it, remember, it causes massive anal bleeding. Oh. <laughs> Julia Roberts told reporters this week that her marriage to Lyle Lovett has been over for some time. The key moment, she said, came when she realized that she was Julia Roberts and that she was married to Lyle Lovett. <laughs> the results are in for 1995, and once again, Microsoft CEO Bill Gates is the richest man in America. Hmm. Gates says that he is grateful for his huge financial success, but it still makes him sad when he looks around and sees other people who have any money whatsoever. <laughs> In a brilliant move during closing arguments, Simpson attorney Johnny Cochran put on the knit cap prosecutors say O.J. wore the night he committed the murders. Although O.J. may have heard his case when he suddenly blurted out, hey, hey, easy with that. That's my lucky stabbing hat. Yeah, oh, shit. Oh, fucking shit. Shit. <laughs> And in music news, number one on the college charts this summer was Better Than Ezra. And at number two, Ezra. <laughs> um, yeah, it is better than Ezra, so that's why it's number one. 
According to a controversial new biography, Elizabeth Taylor likes her lovemaking loud, rough, and frequent. Oh, wow. Coincidentally, that's also how she likes to eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's official. There you go. Michael Jordan is leaving baseball to return to basketball. It is unclear whether the media will now refer to him by his old basketball nickname, Air Jordan, or his more recent baseball nickname, Senior Crappy. <laughs> in Walnut Creek, California, anyone who turns in his gun can get free therapy. And anyone right. who doesn't turn in his gun can get free anything. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm sorry I pause again, but I need to know. I, I don't get how Americans can easily buy an AR, you know, with the, all the school shooting happened before and now again in Texas. How can you buy an AR? A fucking AR. I, I suppose, like, if you want a gun for your own security, because that's what America is all about, you know, freedom. We want a gun to, to protect ourselves. Have a shotgun or have a revolver, I, I suppose, which I still I don't think is a good idea. But having a fucking AR in your own home that your mentally fucking challenged kid can take. And when I say mentally challenged kid, it's just a stupid fucking kid who, have, who should be in therapy. Suppose gets bullied or is a bully in school and just go to school and kill, kill the innocent kids. It just... It's just beyond my understanding how Americans can, you know, buy an AR. Even if we have a license, fuck that shit. Why are you buying an AR? That is for military, not for your use. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. This was very off topic, but I was very angry when the news came out about, you know, taxes shooting again. It's just like, why is still a thing? Why are guns still a thing in America? You know, people can buy gun over here too, yeah. Uh, illegally. I don't think you can buy a legal gun. Only if you are in at a military or a police officer, you can get a gun. It's very rare, very rare that you can buy a gun, a civilian can buy a gun legally. But an AR, nah, that's not happening over here. I'm really glad that's not, not a thing over here. <clears throat> All right, oh, we're gonna watch it back now. Well, earlier this week, actor Marlon Brando met with Jewish leaders to apologize for comments he made on Larry King Live. Among them that, quote, Hollywood is run by Jews. The Jewish leaders accepted the actor's apology and announced that Brando is now free to work again. <laughs> At Virginia Commonwealth University, a professor is being sued following revelations that he spanked one of his students. It was the student's parents who first became suspicious when they asked, what kind of marks are you getting? And she replied, <laughs> big red ones on my ass. So, <laughs> <laughs> Yippee! Jerry Rubin died last week. Who's that? Oh, I'm sorry. That should read uh, Yippee! Jerry Rubin died last week. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm sorry. Jerry Rubin. My mistake completely. Just I didn't read it right. Former First Lady Nancy Reagan reports that her husband has been relaxing at their ranch, riding horses and chopping Reagan wood. Sadly, eyewitnesses report that. He was actually riding wood and chopping horses. <laughs> it was revealed this week that mass murderer Richard Speck, while serving a life term in prison, was videotaped with hormone-induced breasts, snorting cocaine, and having sex with a man. The film was apparently made with prison video equipment and a $300,000 grant from the National Endowment for the Arts. <laughs> Dr. James Watts, a neurosurgeon who performed the first frontal lobotomy, died this week in Washington. If you recall, a lobotomy involves drilling holes in the skull mm -hmm. and then inserting and rotating a knife to destroy brain cells. What a genius. He'll be missed. <laughs> what are these? The Every world have ordered their ride the extra terror estriel to be shut down until it can be made scarier. When the attraction reopens in two weeks, it will be exactly the same, but missing six bolts. <laughs> Last week, during his latest trial on charges of assisted suicide, Dr. Jack Kevorkian startled a Michigan courtroom when he stood up 
and shouted, this is a lynching. Everyone turned to look, and sure enough, he just lynched some old guy. <laughs> Gary Kasparov tied Deep Blue, the IBM supercomputer that can examine 200 million positions per second in mm -hmm. the fourth game of their six-game series. Earlier in the week, Kasparov admitted he made a catastrophic blunder in game two when he failed to force a draw by moving Rook to E8. With all due respect to Mr. Kasparov, what the hell were you thinking? <laughs> A French man who calls himself the Snake Man Snake was arrested this week after climbing up the side of a Manhattan high-rise. It's Spider-Man. Yep, he climbed right up the side of a high-rise. Just like a snake. <laughs> In North Dakota this week, a hunter narrowly escaped death when a pocket knife in his breast pocket deflected a bullet shot by another hunter. Oh. Man, you know we have too many weapons in this country when people are getting shot in the knife. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. It's, and it's that's very it. weird. See you next week, folks. It's very weird even for me. Like, why they are still gun in America? Why aren't there any gun laws in America? Well, yeah, that was a fun, fun video. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you have more No McDonald's videos, please do let me know in the comment section below. I'll check them out. That has been it. Hope you guys have a great day. See you guys tomorrow.